Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy. And before I get started, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down works as well. And if you like knife content and you're not already, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Today I have for you the Concept Knives Pelican EDC. This knife comes in at $174. And I liked it so much, I bought a second. Comes in two blade shapes, as you can see. Um... You got the Tanto right here and the sheep's foot on this one. And <clears throat> both variations come in a blacked, blacked out model and both come in a stone washed uh, blasted style model. Uh, this knife is a design from <clears throat> K Max Room. He, uh, is a he was a, he's a retired K9 unit uh instructor i think from the french army uh i've i've been following him on instagram since i've got on instagram several many years back or whenever instagram started and just a super awesome guy and he wanted to design some knives that met the needs that he needed uh in his profession so he came up with the pelican he has a larger model of this that he made with fox knives he has uh, one of these that he made with Kaiser, and I think a lot of it's funny because you'll see Kaiser having uh, a Pelican and Kaiser having uh, one of the, the Dirk Pinkerton shard, and then Concepts can have it. So I think originally they went with Kaiser, and then when all the when the people left Kaiser and went to Concept, they brought the designs over there too. It's kind of funny seeing them both uh, use the same models, but. We're talking about this knife right here, and originally, we're going to take this one away for right now, because originally, uh, I picked up the Tanto variant, because I thought it just looked unique, and we'll get some specs out of the way. You have an overall length of 7 inches, so it's going to be that medium to small, perfect size for my medium-sized hands. You have a 3-inch blade length, and he did that on purpose to be legal in a lot of different areas, especially ones that could have a locking blade. You have a grip area from here to here of 3.6 inches. You have a close width in the pocket from here to here of 1.33 inches. You have a pretty slim 0.45 inches thick and a hefty blade stock of 0.14 inches. Um, the tan my, my Tanto variant ranges in around the 18,000s in this area and then it gets a little bit thicker up here. I forgot the exact dimensions. And on the sheep's foot, my particular one ranged from like 15,000s to like 18,000s toward the tip area. So this one a little bit slicier. This one more for like heavier task because you have that Tanto blade shape. Um, let's take a closer look at this. You have this black washed, uh, like black stone wash finish. They don't really say what the coating is. Kind of looks like a PVD or something like that. Um, you have the concept logo right there. Blade steel, which is S35VN. Same on the both of them. And then the model number right there. You have that, that nice broad tanto right here. You have a point here. And then you have a point there. So that, that's one, you know, good use for a tanto. You can, you can either use that that tip right there or if you just want to use just that you just poke poke it in say like a package or something and pull back through and you can control how much of that tip it goes into the uh the whatever you're cutting <clears throat> both of them had this nice large scoop right there and i will say it is absolute perfection in in this uh what is it the saber grip right here i can get a lot of power behind my cuts and i can really control that blade because uh, you got a nice flat spot right there, and if I want, I can I can get up here on that that tip, but I have found that whenever I'm I'm choking up like this and doing some fine tasks, that the the sheep's foot is a little bit easier to to maneuver in that manner. Uh, <clears throat> on this side of the blade, you just have the designer, the K Maxrum. Uh, Close it up. You have a T8 
uh, pivot and T8 body screws. Excellent job. Love seeing that. Now, the blade, you have that stonewashed look, and really, you just have a flat black on this one. It kind of looks uh, like it might have a light tumble, but I think that's more my lights. That's just the finish itself. Both blades have uh, the fuller cut on both sides of the handle scales. You have a nice deep chamfer that goes all the way around the scales. Uh, it looks like they missed the opportunity to make this a front flipper. I'm glad. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have used it, but they would have had some jumps right there. It's a perfect little landing spot for a front, front flipper. You have dual thumb studs on this one. They're comfortable. They, they sit a little bit proud of the scales, not by much. Let's see, look at it like this. Actually, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. They don't. It's just the way I was looking down. They don't sit proud of the scales. But you have a, a nice little cutout right there and easy access to it and very snappy action. Especially mine's broken in and I've taken this one down just to get a better look at it the inside. And I will say once I put my own lube on there and cleaned her up, it got uh, way smoother. Uh, it is drop shutty. As you can see, both of them are completely centered. Uh, <laughs> let's see I think pretty sure you can spotty yeah you can spotty flick both of these nicely on this side you have a mill titanium pocket clip uh, that is only tip up right hand carry so sorry about that lefties you do have a hardened steel uh, lock face I mean yeah lock face and over travel you have a pretty large lanyard loop to the back right there and you have some pretty aggressive jumps right here that look like they would be pretty uncomfortable in hand. But like I've always said, I, it, whenever they're on the back right there, I don't ever seem to feel them that much. And I definitely don't I haven't like noticed them in the way I'm holding this knife because this part's curving down. Now, you have, if you have different different size hands or your you know your hand sits different on here, maybe different for you. I I, I can't can't tell you that it's riding on ceramic bearings um, that there's your lock up about 50 percent or 40 percent and look at that they're pretty much identical that's that's really good to see that the, these two are pretty much identical on how they are um, the access to that lock bar they have some nice deep cutouts on both sides of the frame some mill spots so it's easy to get my thumb in there uh, that that's a big plus for me uh, let me see get my light you can see in there you do have some nice deep pocketing to lighten up the knife a good bit and while I'm talking about weight let's see if these weigh any different Here's a tanto 3.47 ounces so definitely manageable for me not heavy whatsoever and the sheep's foot so very close this one's 0.44 this one's 0.47 so no no noticeable difference I can promise you that you're not gonna be able to tell <laughs> um, the pocket clip works just fine it goes with the flow of the the knife um, I would have liked to see this cut out on the inside, even though it doesn't it doesn't get in the way at all. You do have decent spring to it. It's not overly tight. And all the pants that I've used this with and shorts, it went in and out of the pocket very nicely. <clears throat> there you go. It's not deep carry, but not terrible. And that lanyard loop stays on top of the pocket, so you know you don't have to fish around to try to grab it. And then. Gives you a nice spot to pull it out the pocket. And here's what it would look like with the non-coated. So you got that sticking out right there. Not bad whatsoever. Um, you know, one thing that, that I've been kind of, you know, judging in my head is concept over Kaiser. And I've used many Kaisers, and 
they're, they're, they're pretty good knives, you know. Uh, I've had some flaws with some of them, and I, I'm sure I'll have some flaws with some concept knives. That's just, it, there's no company that doesn't have any flaws that I've used in, in my life. None. And one thing I, I, I can say for sure as of right now is that the build quality and the heat treatment on the concept knives that I've received has been better than any Kaisers that I've been that I've owned. I've owned a bunch. Um, now I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep like paying attention to that. If if I buy another Kaiser, I hadn't been buying many Kaisers just because the concepts have been speaking to me. There's another one that's been speaking to me, but I'm trying to slow my roll. <laughs> but uh, this one I like so much. Like I said, I, I just had to check out check out the sheep's foot. Now, um, let's get some size comparisons out of the way real quick, and then I'll talk about a few of my little nitpicks. Uh, let's see. First up is the Spyderco Paramilitary 3. Oh, yeah, Para 3. So this is an excellent size comparison. These are almost identical in size, if not identical. Um, and here is your Ontario Rat Model 2. So both of these are good size comparisons. The Rat Model 2 is a little bit longer, and it's much more similar to the uh, PM3. Uh, let's see, what else do I have right here? I've got the Mini Bug Out, Benchmade Bug Out Mini. As you can see, the Pelican EDC is a good bit bigger, and I have the Small Feldspar by CJRB. Probably another great size comparison right there. Yep, that's enough. This is, look how, those are pretty much identical in size. And a really good size comparison is the Concept Knives EDC Pelican. <laughs> so as you can see, they're the exact same size. Um, the, the actually, well, I don't know, it could be my lining up, but it looks like the Tanto might be just a skosh longer. Uh, so, I've been carrying and using these quite a bit here lately, and which one, if I had to buy them again and just buy one, which one would I buy? And my honest answer would have to be the sheep's foot, mainly because, now, I like, I love both of them, and I'm, I'm going to keep using them. But I found that I got better use and utility out of this blade shape over the Tanto. And that's just my mileage, you know. Uh, I don't think you can go wrong either way. If you like a good Tanto, I think this is a good option. And you may want to go with this one. But if you like both of them, I would probably go with the Sheep's Foot. Uh, now let's talk about a few of my nitpicks and complaints. First off, on the Tanto variant, uh, I don't have many. It looks like they could have brought the sharpening tool back a little bit because the plunge line is actually on this side of it. it it's, you can already start to see a little smile. Not the biggest deal in the world, but, you know, just something to note. And let's see if it's present on this one. Now, being that it's not, okay, this one, being that you have this different grind, you can see they're done differently. And this one clears the plunge line. Let's see, can you see it like that? There you go. So this one's gonna have a smile on it. This one shouldn't. All right, second. This is a murdered out knife. All black, you got all this black. And to me, that silver pivot sticks out like a sore thumb. I think it would have been nice to see that coated as well. Not hurting the functionality whatsoever, but just thought I should uh, say it. Uh, and second, this is the last thing, and this is just a nitpick. It's definitely not hurting anything, but you have this nice titanium pocket clip and titanium backspacer and what I thought was titanium hardware, but... No, that is just colored stainless. All this is colored stainless. And whenever I, I look closer at it before I got my magnet out, 
if you look down in there you can see like the dye that they use like the different color of that and I noticed whenever I rub my fingers on it it didn't change the color like an anode titanium would with the oxidation from the, the oils in your skin so not hurting anything and they don't I don't think they even claim they just don't say anything they don't claim that it's uh, titanium and you can kind of you can tell at first I just thought they might have did different voltages on these but uh, you can see how dark that blue is and how light that blue is and then how dark that pivot is compared to the backspacer not not the end of the world um, I think you know it bugs me more that this is silver rather than all black like the rest of the knife but overall I'm very very happy with the knife um, this this could have probably made my my top 10 of 2020 if I would have ha if I would have got it you know a month earlier so I could have had a little bit more pocket time especially with this one and to be able to you know really get the feel for it so definitely I, I, you know I recommend it if if the price isn't you know over what you what you want to spend on a knife you know it's it it is a little higher than I would have liked to see this knife at say like the hundred and fifty dollar price point it being that it has a custom a custom collaborator that you know you're paying royalty to I, I understand it being a little bit more expensive kind of like the Boker F3 that's $186 so that's more the Wiimote this knife right here this is a, a much smaller knife and this one's $170 and this is 174 so you know but this is also with a custom collaborator uh, they're, they're always going to be more expensive because you, you're paying for that collaborator too, his design. You got the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog and Titanium. That's $144, but I think they were more when they first came out. I'm not certain on that. Uh, you got the Artisan Tradition 3-inch is $153, and the Best Tech Goblin Smaller Blade with inlay carbon fiber, that's $158. So, you know, obviously it wasn't too expensive in my eyes but you know you gotta you gotta be the judge of that but if you like it I, de I don't I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed especially if you like a nice snappy action the detents dialed in for more of like a flick um, I can slow roll either one of them I can almost always slow roll a knife if I use the fat of my thumb like that to break the detent but uh, mine have broken in nicely and now they're not as stout to where I can slow roll it a lot easier. So there you go. That is the Pelican EDC. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.